When I was small, I used to think maxi pads and tampons and all these things were contraceptives, like the way Johnny's are for boys, do you know what I mean? And uh, how I found out was, when I was 11, me and my family went out to a restaurant for a bite to eat, and uh, my older sister, who was 14 at the time, asked my mother for a spare tampon, and I was like, ooh, looking around for her, seeing who she's going off with in the jacks or something like, you know? And my family were like, why are you making that noise, you weirdo? And I was like, Jenny, who's that for? She goes, I need, I need one every month. I was like, every month, you cheeky monkey, like, you know? And then I turned to my dad and I was like, do you think I should wear a condom once a month now that I'm getting older? Like, and he was like, uh, I don't know, boy, but I should have worn one the night I had you anyway. So I never really found out till later in life what it was really for. And I just wear Johnny at all times now. Just took my nephew to the beach and we were walking away and uh, he said, Mike, I'm bursting, I need to go to the toilet and there was no toilet. So I said, just go for a swim and pee in the water, do you know what I mean? And he was all like, oh, you can't do that. I said, everybody does it, like, do you know what I mean? He went down to the water, right, got ankle deep, pulled down his shorts and just started pissing into the ocean. So I apologise to the all hundred other families that were there, do you know what I mean? I was mortal for the young fella. I actually left, I was so embarrassed. I couldn't be associated with that shit at all. So if you're... Uh, my sister watching this, your young fella's down in Inchidani Beach. Go collect them. Just took my nephew to the beach and we were walking away and uh, he said, Mike, I'm bursting, I need to go to the toilet and there was no toilet. So I said, just go for a swim and pee in the water, do you know what I mean? And he was all like, oh, you can't do that. I said, everybody does it, like, do you know what I mean? He went down to the water, right, got ankle deep, pulled down his shorts and just started pissing into the ocean. So I apologise to the all hundred other families that were there, do you know what I mean? I was mortal for the young fella. I actually left, I was so embarrassed. I couldn't be associated with that shit at all. So if you're... Uh, my sister watching this, your young fella's down in Inchidani Beach. Go collect them. Does anybody else have to change up their accent when they're talking to Siri, no? Like, definitely people from Cork, Limerick, definitely Kerry. Like, you have to change it up. You have to talk to her how she talks to you. Like, you have to go, excuse me, Siri, what is the capital of Sweden? And she'll say, Stockholm. Because if you go at it at your normal accent, she won't have a fucking clue what you're saying. It's like, sorry, Siri, uh, you couldn't tell me the capital of Sweden there by any chance if you have it on you, nah? She'll be like, uh, she'll blow up, like, you know what I mean? Even my dad is like, uh, what you want from the Chinese there, Kid. What you want? City Palace, is that two seconds? I get the number. Sorry, Siri. Would you have the number for City Palace, Mallow, County Cork, please? Shut the fuck up, you idiot. Anybody else, now? When I was 15, I had to tell my best friend that there was no such thing as Santa Claus. And if there's any younger listeners out there, of course there's Santa Claus. I'm a comedian. This is just a joke, okay? Anyway, um, so he was 15. We were old enough to be smoking fags, right? So we were out the back of the school. We were all smoking, right? And I didn't know whether to get Call of Duty or FIFA for Christmas, right? And this is what my friend said. He goes, Why don't you ask your parents for Call of Duty, right? That way, you can ask your, you can ask Santa for FIFA. Best of both worlds, like, do you know what I mean? We all started laughing. We were like, lad, there's no such thing as Santa Claus, you fucking idiot, right? And everyone was laughing. And this fella was big, like, and because I was the smallest and weakest in the group, he threw back his hand and punched me into the head and a tooth flew out my head. But I got the last laugh because I got five euros after tooth fairy after. Ayo, oh, there you go. Boom, you're done, no fam.